Hi gang, it's Mark Gilliatt for AIM Country Music Television again. Today, I'd like to introduce you to Adam Warner. He's a small town boy from Southeast Illinois, Lawrenceville, Illinois to be exact. He's a veteran who served four years as a U.S. Marine, and he's described himself as a bad influence, which is enough to make me like him instantly. And now he calls Nashville his home. He's making country music with a little swagger, a southern drawl, and a rock and roll edge. Adam's dropping by today to talk about his new release, Catching Hell. It's a thing most of us can relate to as springtime starts to erupt across the heartland, skipping work and heading out to your favorite fishing hole. Let's see if I can push the right buttons to get Adam in here right now to talk about what might just be your new favorite song. Welcome, Adam. How are you today, sir? Man, I'm doing great. Thank you so much for uh, having me on today. I appreciate it. You're very welcome. Uh, well, I've, I've already talked behind your back a little bit here, but uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? Yeah, sure. I mean, uh, I grew up in southeastern Illinois, a uh, little farm town called Lawrenceville. Both sides of my family were farmers. Um, pretty much grew up there my entire life, joined the Marine Corps. Uh, that was uh, my way of uh, getting out of moving dirt. So uh, nice. Uh, joined the Marines. Um, when I got out of the Marine Corps, moved to Tennessee, uh, started writing and singing and uh, kind of been doing that ever since. <laughs> right, right. We're very nice. Um, let's get to the song, Catching Hell. Um, this, this is a song that doesn't really need a lot of chatter about inspiration. I think everybody relates to it on some level. Um, but what's your process for coming up with a song like this? I mean, you start with a tune, the chorus, the guitar riff, catchy phrase. Um, where did you start? With this particular one, actually, uh, I had that title written down for a long time. And I uh, just, I've, I've always wanted to kind of write a fishing song. And um, we were on a writer's retreat. Actually, we went back to uh, my hometown in Illinois. We were on my grandparents' farm. Yeah. And uh, we were just jotting down ideas on songs we wanted to write. And I was like, man, I've been hanging on to this one for a while. What y'all think <laughs> about this song? So I shot them the title and uh, they're like, yeah, I dig that. And then we just kind of started mulling around ideas. And then my friend Josh Gallagher was like, hey, wait a minute. He's like, I'm not trying to distract this. He goes, I came up with this guitar lick like two years ago. He goes, what do y'all think of this? So <laughs> then he started playing that that guitar lick that's in the very, very front of the song. Yeah. And I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's I love the direction that. <laughs> we need to go. <laughs> so we shifted directions and kind of threw everything away that we'd you know, been writing at that point and then right. wrote to that lick that Josh had. And uh, I'm glad that he uh, brought that uh, dust of the cobwebs off of that one because uh, <laughs> yeah, I, it, it came out pretty cool. It came out very good. Yeah, that, that it turned out to be a really great song. Thank you. Yeah, I enjoy it. It's a lot of fun to play. Oh, yeah, no doubt. No doubt. Uh, so uh, how did Jake Hoot get involved, the uh, winner of season 17 of The Voice? How did you get involved with him? Uh, so Jake and I, we've been friends for a while. Um, okay. I knew Jake from when he, he used to work at a uh, radio station up in uh, Cookville oh, okay. um, before The Voice. And um, my band leader at the time and him, uh, they grew up together, knew each other real well. And again, um, we were traveling through. And he was like, hey, you want to do some radio stuff? And I was like, yeah, I might as well. So he's like, cool, I got a buddy that works at a radio station here. He goes, let me call him. So that's kind of how I met Jake. And we just always kind of kept in uh, contact, you know, through the years. And actually, when I met him, he had already been approved uh, from the blind auditions to be on The Voice. He just couldn't tell anybody yet. <laughs> right. And um, so, uh, yeah, you know, a lot, it, but anyway, long story short, um, I was shooting this idea and I just, I had like just I had this thought in my head. I thought it would be really funny. And Jake is such a good guy. And he just he's really funny on camera. Like he can yeah. just fall into like this character. <laughs> and I was like, dude, uh, I called him and I was just like, I got this idea and you can totally like shut it down if you don't want to do it. But I just feel like you would be the perfect candidate for it. So I told him what I was thinking and he started laughing and he was just uh, he said, oh, yeah, he goes, I'm totally in for that. So um <laughs> We met up, shot it, and uh, it was uh, yeah, it turned out as good as I thought it was because Jake is just again like one of those he he can be so over the top without <laughs> it seeming like he's trying to be over the top. It's yeah. just kind of he's just natural at it. And I yeah, told him I was like, "Don't natural." I, that, I think that really oh, so good. Kind of push it over the top. <laughs> yeah, it's hilarious. I was just yeah. like, think, uh, try to be as like cheesy as possible, and he was like, "Oh, he's like." that's my thing he's like the I master of that yeah yeah, yeah. he oh, killed it awesome. it was great it was it was uh, so uh let's let's play the video now um you're watching adam warner's video for catch and hell on aim country music television
Well, hey. Hello. What are you still doing here? It's a beautiful day out. I have so much work. I need to get this finished. You know what? Don't worry about it. I take care of my favorite employee. Why don't you go ahead and get out of here? Are you sure? This gets done before you leave. Man, this is BS. This always happens to me. Did you say something? Oh, yes, sir. I said I'll get this done before I leave. Nice job on the video. Uh, do you want to tell us a little bit about putting it together? I mean, your videographers, your actors, that kind of thing. Yeah. So, um, again, uh, I have such a great team. Had a lot of help with this. Uh, Trevor George uh, was videographer for this one. Trevor, uh, man, he's super talented, so it makes it very easy to shoot because his ideas are always like, I'm like, I think I have a cool idea. And then he's like, oh, but what about this? And <laughs> he just takes it to a new level. Um, but yeah, Trevor's the man um, and the people in it. So my wife, Megan, was actually uh, the dedicated employee that right, yep, Jake yep. was letting go. <laughs> and then, um, you know, again, I'm a big fisherman myself. So like uh, my buddies from the fishing community, um, my friends over at CNO Marina um, here in White Bluff, Tennessee, they were the ones that took care of us uh, as far as the boats go. I just I reached out to them and I said, hey, man, I was like, I, I really want to do this video. I need some bass boats, you know. Um, <laughs> is there any way that I could, you know, rent some boats from you? And it just, he was like, well, when do you want it? He was like, <laughs> I, I, how many boats do you need? So those guys are outstanding people. So if, uh, if anybody's in the bass boat market, make sure you'll look them up, especially if you're in Tennessee, because uh, Craig and that, that whole team over there is just, uh, man, they're a good bunch of people, good bunch of people. And then uh, my friend Chad, uh, Christy was the one that was riding the boat with me, and we fish a lot together, and we've done some boat tournaments together. And he's just a good buddy of mine. So I was like – you want to drive around and get filmed fishing for a couple hours? He was like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that sounds a little bit like heaven. Yeah, I'll yeah. take it. He's like, can we, he's like, can I bring some beer? And I was like, yeah. So it was a perfect match. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. <laughs> oh, well, uh, my only issue is, after all this, we need to wrap this up because I'm ditching work after this for the rest of the day. Um, be before we go, let's let the folks know where they can uh, find you, where to buy your music, uh, where they can come and see you live. 
uh, just give us the whole spiel here. Sure. So uh, music wise, I'm on all streaming platforms. So anywhere you stream music, you can find me. Uh, you know, if it's Spotify, Apple Music, uh, Tidal, all those, every one of them, I'm on it. So just type in my name, Adam Warner, and you'll find me. Perfect. And um, as far as for shows and social media, mine uh, is all the same across the board. It's just Adam Warner Music. And that's for TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, uh, Twitter. I don't think I'm leaving anything out. But yeah, all the social media is just Adam Warner Music. Um, my accounts are verified. So just look for that check mark. Except for TikTok. I'm not cool enough yet. TikTok, thanks a lot. <laughs> You'll get there. Hang in there. <laughs> I'll get there. I'll get there. Um, but Bands in Town is my favorite for shows. Okay. Um, you can put your email in Bands in Town. And anytime I'm touring or coming close to your area, it'll automatically send you an email and let you know, like, hey, we're at you know, at Evansville, Indiana, or you know, Florida somewhere. So that's a real good one to keep in contact with okay. fans in town. Sounds good. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Thank you. I appreciate you. Thanks for coming out, Adam. Let's go fishing. So what do you guys think? Is Catch in Hell going to be your new favorite song? This has been Mark Gilliatt for AIM Country Music Television. Thank you for watching. Four, five, large mouth, two, three, boo,